Renting a motorbike or a scooter is not easy in Taiwan. Most of the places require the Taiwanese driving license. There are only few cities on the island where you can do it with international driving license, and Hualien is one of them. Few rental shops are located right at the exit of the main train station, and they're charging four five hundred twenty dollars per day. Short stop to recharge the energy at the canteen at the entrance to the park. Cheap and good. Lunch set for ninety twenty dollars only. Taroka National Park is located twenty three kilometers from Hualien, and entrance to the park is free. Like any other natural sites and festivals in Taiwan, it faces the Pacific Ocean on the east and covers an area of more than 920 square kilometers. It's 36 kilometers from north to south and 42 kilometers from east to west. The park has many high mountains and steep gorges, with many peaks over 3,000 meters high. For the highest one, Mount Nanu, 3,742 meters high. Taroka Gorge is called the Grand Canyon of Taiwan, and it lies for 19 kilometers of the Central Cross Island Highway, and it follows the Laibo River upstream. Tunnel of Nine Tones is 1,220 meters long, which is the longest tunnel of the Central Cross Island Highway and the most scenic part of Taroka Gorge. It's windy and features many twists and turns. Hence, it's got the origin of its name, Tunnel of Nine Turns. Etched against the high mountain ravine, along with the bluish-green water of Laibo River and white marble cliffs in between, the only narrow part is open to the sky, which is Chinese called the Thread of Sky. The Eternal Spring Shrine was built in 1958 to commemorate 226 military veterans who died during the construction of the Central Cross Island Highway. Those brave workers are remembered by a small temple and adjoining pavilion that are connected by a bridge spanning over the waterfall. Natural spring water flows all year round into the Laibo River in front of the shrine. And now it's time to come back to Hualien. See you on the next video about exploring southern part of Taiwan by the motorbike. Don't forget to subscribe!